Oklahoma City is now a national center for professional river sports. However, many people don't understand the differences between these sports. But with the rowing program and the nation's first kayak program, OCU is changing that mindset. Often when people hear that I'm a kayaker, they say, oh, hey, that's just like rowing, right? And I say, well, we both go on the water, but that's about it. The kayaks are a little bit shorter. They have a closed cockpit that you sit inside of and you face forward and you have a double-sided paddle. A kayak is just a carbon fiber shell and a paddle. Whereas rowing, you still have the carbon fiber shell, but you have an outrigger and you have a lot bigger boats. An outrigger connects the oars to the boat, which is a big difference from kayaking, where the paddle is held in your hand. Rowers move faster than kayakers because we have more leverage. Our oars are quite a bit bigger and further from the boat. Everyone thinks this is rowing. Rowing is actually mainly a lower body sport. Your feet strap into the front of the boat and then your seat's on wheels. So you, you bend your knees and pull the, your seat up to your heels and then put your blade in the water and the first thing you do is you drive with your legs. The rowers have a lot slower stroke rate and have longer races. Their races are 2,000 meters, while our longest Olympic distance race is uh, 1,000 meters. There's always a big kind of rivalry between the two sports. Um, not, nothing uh, serious, but it's just a lot of fun um, poking fun at each other for going backwards or whatnot. But there's also a lot of learning about each other's sports and appreciating each other's sports. Rowing and kayaking in Oklahoma City. Different sports, but united on the water. Whether you face backwards or forwards, row or paddle, or just enjoy watching these boats fly across the water, the Oklahoma River is the place to be. For OCU Sideline, I'm Caleb Howard.